Good morning, Pastor Luke here. Um, I, I just wanted to just share a couple of quick things with you. Uh, one is this evening we have our, our prayer gathering and just want to encourage you if if you're available to, to come. It's really been just a, a wonderful, blessed time of prayer. We spend the first about the, the first uh, half hour in at prayer stations, uh, which is just a wonderful way of um, spirit directed um, prayer and communion with our our Father, and uh, so that's a blessing. Then we spend the last uh, half hour or thereabouts, the last uh, half of the time, um, in uh, in a in a big group praying together in corporate prayer. And so I love those dual aspects of prayer. Of, of you know, prayer is, is communion, communicating with our gracious and loving sovereign Father. And I'm um, just having that that first half hour. Of different uh, different directions, instructions being led um, in prayer, whether that's through through verses, through uh, reading hymns, and and in other ways, and then that that last half hour of corporate prayer, which is so essential um, in our our prayer life and our walk with the Lord, praying together, encouraging, building one another up. So just want to encourage you to to join in on that. It's a, a blessed time. And then the other thing I wanted to just encourage you with is I was reading in Daniel this week and was really struck by something. Um, many of us know the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, um, how uh, King Nebuchadnezzar made this big giant gold image and then you had some jealous advisors come to the king and say, well, um, these these guys over here, they're not worshiping the gods we're worshiping. They're not, they're, you know, they're, they're not uh, doing everything that they're supposed to be doing and worshiping these gods and serving your gods and worshiping the gods you serve. Um, and so Nebuchadnezzar, he gets angry and comes to them and says, hey, look, you guys are either going to worship them or I'm going to, I'm throwing you in the fiery furnace. You're going to, you're going to burn. And, uh, and so I love their reply. And here in Daniel chapter three, verse 16, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If this be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace. And he will deliver, deliver us out of your hand, O king. But if not, be it known to you, O king, that we will not serve your gods or worship the golden image that you have set up. And I just, I love that reply. And really, it's, it's, it's almost like a prayer. Um, and there's three essential aspects to that. One, they say, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us. Um, he is the true God. He's able to do it. We, we believe firmly that he is able um, and then secondly, they say, not only is he able, he will deliver us out of your hand, O king. And I just, I love the boldness there, the extravagancy, the, um, the extraordinariness of it, the, um, just that he will deliver us. They have just, you know, not all he might deliver us or whatever else, but he will deliver us. But then thirdly, even if he doesn't, if, um, verse 18, uh, chapter three, if not, even if he doesn't deliver us, be it known to you, O king, we will worship the Lord. We will not worship your gods. We will still worship our God. Even if he doesn't deliver us, he is still God. He is still good. And, and let that be known to you. And I don't know, that just really hit me the, the, um, the other day that so oftentimes in, in my prayer life, I will pray to the Lord but there is sometimes is this hesitancy in, in prayer where I'm like, okay, Lord, maybe if this be your will, I, I know you don't usually work this way, but, you know, could you, you know, uh, uh, heal this person or, or could you work? Um, could you do this? And so I just, I love the boldness that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego have, that God is able, God will do this. Even if he doesn't, he is still God. And so I just want to encourage encourage you with that as I was encouraged with that reading that this week, just the, the boldness in prayer that God will 
answer. He will deliver. He will save. And even if not, um, even even when we, uh, even if we feel disappointed, like he hasn't, he is still God. He is still good, and we will still worship him. And uh, we all know how this story ends. God does come and and delivers them. So just again, want to j- pray um, for you and encourage you with that to be bold in your prayers. God can save. God will save. And even if not, he is still God. Um, even if he, even if he, I shouldn't say even if not, but even if he doesn't save, even if he doesn't answer how we expect him to, um, he is, um, he is still God and, and he will still work that out according to what is good for us. So thank you. So hope that's a blessing to you. Uh, God bless.